Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be creating something that's a little bit more Valentine's Day inspired, even though I know that's next month, but it's never too early to start these beautiful, almost spring looks, even though I will be jumping back to the winter. But I was inspired by Megan on Instagram, which she is another makeup artist and her work is amazing. I love the photo that she posted, which I will be including in here. So I was inspired by this look and I told her that I really wanted to create it because I was all for it. It was a little bit more challenging than I thought. I don't think I've ever done any look like this, which is a little bit out of my comfort zone. It looks so gorgeous when you have your eyes open, and even when you close them, you can see the hearts, and I tried to do them as perfect as I can, but it's a little impossible on your eyelids, but she killed the look, and I fell in love with it, so I just had to bring it on my channel and recreate it, so... I really hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to stick around by subscribing so you guys don't miss out on any more upcoming videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you guys would like to see how to get this heart eyes makeup look, then just keep on watching. As always, I'm going to start off with the eyes and I'll be mixing in my Wet n Wild eye primer and also my concealer from Kat Von D just to prime my lids to make the shadows last. And the concealer will help even out the discoloration on our eyelids. And for today's look, I will be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I will only be using this palette, by the way. I will be taking this soft pinky shade, kind of like a peach tone, and I will be applying this into my crease in windshield wiping motions. And this brush set, I cannot find it for the life of me. I did buy it at the store, so maybe you'll have a hope finding it there. But I'm just using a very nice rounded brush. Then I'll be taking this cranberry shade and I will be placing this on the outer corners of my eyes and I will be intensifying this color as I go. You guys will see me adding more and more color. I do want to make sure every single layer is well blended because of this look. I did find it a little bit more tough working with this shade specifically. I'm not sure why but I am using a MAC 217 brush. And I'll also be taking it to the inner corners of my eyes and then connecting it on my crease. I am going to try and leave it a little bit empty on the center so when we do our heart, it's not that hard to cover up with the red. And this look requires so much blending and if you actually want to go a little bit crazier with this shade, go ahead. I wish I would have smoked it out a little bit more, but it was my first time trying to look like this. so. There's always a first for everything. And going back with the first brush that we used, I just want to make sure everything is nicely blended and has a seamless transition. And I'll be doing the same thing on the other eye. Then I'll be taking this mauve almost with a red tone and pink tones underneath right in between the first shadow we laid into our crease and also the cranberry shade just making sure everything is nicely blended honestly I feel like this was the finish like the great touch to it and then I will be taking my concealer to create the hearts I am using this very precise brush but you can honestly use any brush you have as long as it's a nice precise brush and I was looking at her picture in reference. I was just, I think I was very nervous to even do this look because of my eyes. I was trying to hold up a mirror. I was trying to look at myself in the mirror. It was just so challenging. And especially while you're fil filming, it's like a little bit more difficult for some reason. But this is my attempt of doing my heart. Honestly, just take your time. You do kind of have to stretch out your eyelids and keep kind of opening your eyes so you can see that you're placing it right in the center of the eyes. Something that really helped me as my guideline was kind of going with my eyes. Like if I look straight and I would close my eyes and see that's exactly where I wanted to place it. So. Once I nail it, I will be using my NYX Glitter Primer, and this is just going to make the NYX shadows we apply appear a little bit more vibrant and a little bit glittery. I will be taking this light pink shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I will be placing this inside of the hearts, and I'm mainly focusing this on the top 
part of the heart because I wanted it to be a little bit glittery and really give me that depth and dimension to the eyes then I will be taking the shade right next to it which is a nice rose gold and I'll be placing it on the center and just kind of sprinkling it all over the place so it kind of gives that nice pink reflex then with this very small blending brush from real techniques I'm just going to try and mesh the colors together but still not mess up the shape of the heart but add a little bit more depth all around I'll then be taking the black eyeshadow and placing this as close to my lashes as possible and kind of doing like a very soft smoky wing liner. This is just going to widen our eyes a little bit more. I really love this technique that she used. It was very soft and sultry. Then I'll be applying some mascara to my eyelashes and moving on to the face. I will be priming using the Wet n Wild Matte Face Primer and it is so affordable and actually very good. I've been loving this with my new foundation from CoverGirl which is the Healthy Elixir. I'm really liking this foundation, still trying it out, making sure it doesn't break me out or anything. But so far I am loving it. I will be using this to conceal my dark circles using this flat brush from Real Techniques and with the same foundation brush, I will be blending this in. To set the concealed areas, I do like to use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I just love the coverage it gives underneath my eyes. It almost makes it look very flawlessly airbrushed and I also take this on my forehead and on my chin around my smile lines and then with the big brush if there is any excess powder I just go ahead and dust it off and take it all over my face and just to give me a little bit of a bronze soft look to the skin I will be taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer I will not be placing this perfect just kind of in the areas where I would typically contour to add a little bit of color around my face before doing the contouring I really love the way this looks on camera, so that's why I'm doing it this way today. Then I will be taking my IT Cosmetics Contour Palette, and I will be taking the dark shade and placing this right underneath my cheekbones, the sides of my forehead, and also around my chin. I don't know why recently I've just been obsessed with using this product to contour my face. It just looks very hydrating on the skin, and it doesn't dry me out whatsoever. Then I will be jumping back to the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I will be contouring the sides of my nose. It's just the perfect bronzer to contour your nose and make it appear a little bit slimmer. Then moving on to the brows, I will be using this Winky Luxe pencil for my brows, which is a universal shade and I will be outlining through the bottom of my brows and then just kind of flicking it up making it appear like hair strokes. I've recently been loving this technique a lot and just kind of making my brows look a little bit more natural but still thick. Then with my Sigma mascara, I actually like to use this one for my brows just to brush them out. It really holds them in place as well. So it's perfect and it adds a little bit of tint to it. Then with my Tarte Cosmetics Amazonian Clay Blush, which is a 12 hour or 24 hour wear. It is amazing. It is the perfect pinky shade for Valentine's Day. It's in the shade Party. I will be applying this to my cheeks and kind of all over my face to give me some color. Then with the Ofra Cosmetics highlighter, I will be specifically taking both of these shades, mixing them both together and popping this on top of my cheekbones, on my nose, my cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin. And you guys, it is just so amazing because of the pink highlight in it. Then I will be popping on my falsies. I'll quickly be going back to the eyes and I will be using the same shades I used all over my eyelid on the bottom just to kind of smoke everything out and make it come together. Then I will be applying some mascara to my bottom lashes and I'll also be popping a little bit of the highlight to my inner corners. To finish off this look, I will be applying this mauve lip liner, which is from Italia. It was just like $1 at a local boutique. I will be outlining my lips and kind of filling them in with my lip liner. And then I'll be going in with the Girlactic Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sweet, which is such a gorgeous soft pink shade and just 
perfect for this look it is very soft and velvety on the lips very comfortable as well and that pretty much wraps up this look thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video